Strong lining, guys. Strong. All right, I wanted to make a quick video, real quick, as fast as I can, on two things that I, I don't think I, I covered in the past, even though I made 500 plus videos. I don't think I've made a video on sodium intake and my water intake, okay? So pretty much, guys, right now, I'm drinking a right around two gallons of water every single day. And uh, there's multiple reasons why. The number one reason why, because it is fucking hot, man. It's, it's August right now in Florida, and every single day is like peaking at 95 degrees with like 100% humidity. And I have my house set at 80 degrees to save money on electricity. Because I'm bodybuilding, man. I try to save money on everything. Food, electricity, gym, etc., etc., etc. So, anyways, it's hot as hell. Uh, just alone in the gym, when I go to the gym, I drink anywhere between a half a gallon and a gallon of water. My gym is also hot as hell. Uh, they don't care about their clients that much. They, it's literally, it's hotter than my house. I know that for a fact. So you're sweating bullets in there, just walking in there. So between all that, I'm drinking on an average two gallons of water a day. That does not include my milk. I drink a day, 20 ounces of milk, and uh, you know juices or uh, diet soda as well. So on an average day, I would say right now I'm drinking around two and a half gallons of fluids daily, guys. Okay, and that's not forcing myself to drink that much. That's my body just saying, "Hey, Devin, you're thirsty as fuck. You need to drink some more fluids." So it's pretty crazy. Um, I wouldn't recommend this to you because it's all about what you what you need. But I would definitely recommend at least drinking one gallon of water a day if you're an athlete. If you're an athlete. You should be drinking a one gallon of water a day, period. I don't care if you're from Alaska and it's 30 degrees and there's no humidity. You should be drinking a gallon of water a day, okay? It's just, that's it. water and bodybuilding and athletes, thumbs up. It goes, it goes together like peanut butter and jelly, all right? Sodium intake, though. Now, this is something I've never tracked. Never, ever. I never tracked my sodium, even on peak week for my bodybuilding competitions. Never had to worry about it because my diet is pretty much the same every single week it's not like I'm changing my diet up from uh, uh, going from you know eating my chicken breasts and cereal and you know bagels or whatever I'm eating at home to eating something like fast food for like three days straight with you know a whole bunch of frozen foods that you see at like you know Walmart or any grocery store that are packed full of sodium okay now you might see a change if you go from that to that okay because sodium it could hold water on you depending on who you are uh, me personally, like I said, I only see a water slash sodium bloat when I eat a fork load of extra sodium. Damn, that light just got hella bright. But, um, okay, so peak week. Never, never cut water. Not even once, guys. Your muscles are filled with water. So why would you cut water? If you're, especially if you're a natural athlete, you're going to make yourself look flat as shit. Keep my water the same until like an hour out before the show because I don't want to be drinking water and having to piss. Right before I step on stage, like that would not go hand in hand. So I just sip on water like one hour out. And um, as far as sodium goes, I keep my sodium the same throughout peak week. And right before I step on stage, I you know have some beef jerky or something that has a little bit extra sodium to bring out vascularity a little bit better, okay? That's what sodium does. But for the most part, keep the sodium on a pretty much a basic, uh, you know, average throughout the week. You know, I don't change my diet up crazy. And um, you'll notice that too, guys. You, you pretty much eat the same thing throughout the week, unless if you're on like a crazy schedule or something where you have to like eat fast food like three days a week, and then you're back home and you're eating, you know, home cooked meals and without as much sodium. But for the most part, I'd say I'm eating a good amount of sodium, drinking a shit ton of water, and that's about it, guys. So as always, thanks for the question, by the way, guys, and uh, keep posting questions down below. Please check me out on my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash bodybuildingbeast, or my Instagram, post that link down below as well. Instagram, Beast Aesthetics, just like my YouTube bras. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Deuces.